little howdy diddly and dandy there chums i don't know whether there's anybody called diddy or dandy out there watching but here we go we're going to be hitting up a portal address and this base is actually in the nmsa hub so it's in my own hub area and i've been there before in the past and it wouldn't render because it's too mahoosive so it's a double eagle followed by a waypoint and then what do we need we need ourselves a fisherman fish fish and then a sunset lovely jubbly um it could be a sunrise couldn't it who knows but there we go we've been in a rocket and an eclipse a waypoint and a swirly man twirly black holy man hole hole and we want ourselves a btl and we've got ourselves another fishy whale thing and a dipple ducky ass awesome right now so that should kick it into life live be had you awesome nice and blue right i'm gonna go and run and jump into that big swirling ball of electricity right here well any second now kapow i have arrived located in style at hawana kiki um it says first contact i discovered this ages ago ages upon ages ago right okay well there's a fair few bases here including two of my own including my house that i would like to build in the philippines at some stage my dream house that'd be cool i say dream house we kind of bought a church out there we're going to be building on the footprint of said church um so yeah we're just going to add a roof to sort of terrace and things and stuff and convert it it's quite a modern church yeah anyway the reason i'm talking about the church is mainly because the base that's built here funny enough i mean the guy that built this base john todd didn't know that my dream house was actually modeled on a church yet he has built a cathedral and i'm trying to spot it hmm now i'm thinking he's not he's actually on pc so it might not arrive so john todd kindly came and joined us and there he is you can see there he's got a keyboard and mouse symbol and he can actually type so you can see what he's saying on the screen right now it says probably long load times i have been la what's that okay i did see something there i have landing pads over here now oh you do do you well i can't see them as yet it still is rendering i'm having rendering issues mr john todd still having a few issues my friend but yeah I i'm here and i can see the building blocks it's doing something anyway okay he's legging it hooray he says and off he goes right he probably doesn't realize that at the moment <laughs> i'm not seeing all the walls but i am seeing a lot more than what i did see the last time i come here so it's it's coming together well i'm just gonna pretend that i can see stuff. actually i'll just let him know that i've hold on just one sec let him render a little bit more oh no he's off he's off okay we'll just go follow him uh, he, he's, he's super stoked, isn't he, that I'm here? <laughs> okay, right, okay, let's head, let's head on in. Come on then, show us around, show us around. Okay, let's head on up these steps. Nice, okay, this is this is good. This is, uh, we've got a hole in the ground. We've got a hole, there's a hole there. I can see a big hole in the ground. Right, okay, take a look around, I'll follow you. Well, the floor might eat me alive if I continue to look around at the moment, my friend. Um, I tell you what, I'm going to go into camera mode, I think, and we're going to traverse this in camera mode first and have a little sweep. So, OK, there's a staircase underneath the base. Because so, there's a hole in the floor, I can see that there's more underneath that perhaps is multiple tiered. It might have a basement, chums. Oh, look, and there's something hidden behind that staircase over there as well. I think that should be a Gek statue. Oh, look, the floor is all rendered and all the pews are here. Oh, it looks fantastic, John Todd. Nicely done. Take a look around our folly. There's two hidden areas. Can you find them? Um, I'll give it a good shot because I think I got a sneak peek of some of these hidden areas when it hadn't rendered, my friend. So I saw that there was something behind these uh, stairs here. And I'd imagine it's a sneaky little area over by, yes, these triangles. They're a little bit of a giveaway. Right, I'm going to go down. Yes, I think I have found your secret area and yet all oh, this looks like a, a little library these look like little library bookshelves or something now well, this is really cool yeah most cathedrals have like a hidden library and but it looks like someone's ransacked them oh yeah the, the hidden library oh what he can't actually hear me people this is uncanny and look there's a little area under here as well and there's his base computer so if i can get over to the base computer if i hover over it i bring john todd's name up in large on the screen 
There we go. Looks like all the books have been checked out. <laughs> yeah, no doubt by the Pope getting them vetted for a new version of the good old text, you know. I, I hear that the uh, Vatican has sub uh, extracted a lot from the renditions of what we have. But yeah, who knows, who knows. But here we go. Double thumbs up, my friend. This is awesome. I'm liking your base. This is really, really cool. And I'd imagine that people out there in the world are going to think it's freaking mind-blowing as well, should they come and visit. Did you fall through the uh, base? No, no. There's there's a staircase. There's a staircase. I'm totally fine. Yeah, there is a way out. There, there definitely is. There's a creature in here that managed to find its way in here. You got yourself a holy cow in the basement. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, let's head back on up. Brilliant. And, yeah, so here I am. So, yeah, there's a way out. Yeah, I'm totally fine. I'm totally good. I'll be back with you in a minute, John Todd. I'm just having a nose. I'm having a nose around. So, yeah, he can't actually hear me. So, yeah. This... <laughs> Let's fly up here. Let's go find him. Let's go see if we can find John Todd. Uh, I'm liking all the shrubberies here. I'm liking the use of lighting as well. It really has a majestic sort of feel to it. Now, every hub should have itself a cathedral to be a capital. You know, that's that gives city city status, doesn't it? And you've definitely done that. Oh, look, there's a little choir up here, a little pew. And that's exactly like you find in the cathedrals. Usually above the, the main entrance would be the, the actual choir and stuff. Uh, here comes a bride and all that sort of shenanigans and other sorts of singing demon sing sings. Hello there, John Todd. Hello. Great bass. This is really, really quite cool. Oh, maybe you didn't see that I just came from up there. He's probably showing me. Oh, look, there's a choir up here, Captain Steve. Come and have a look at the choir. Okay. Yeah, John Todd, I have seen this. This has already been seen with my peepers. Yes, I saw this. But thank you. Thank you for helping me point that out. A hidden choir loft. Yeah, nice. That is that is probably what every cathedral wants, a hidden choir. But there we go. Let's uh, jump into camera mode and let's swing this around and let's have a quick look around. So down in the bottom left-hand corner right now, chums, are the portal coordinates for here. Now this is in Euclid, this is in normal mode, and it's inside of the NMSA hub, which is in the 905 light years from the galactic center of Euclid. And we're forming a defense perimeter ring to keep away all the sentinels that the Viking pushed back. However, the sentinels haven't arrived and I've not seen hide more hair of them. So they've done a really good freaking job, those Viking. They really did. It'd be nice if the lore actually tied in with the actual game and we got to see sentinels out there. But John Todd, this is more about your base than my ramblings. So thanking you. This looks really good. It looks great here at night with no torch. It, I, yeah, it, I, I kind of... My torch hasn't come on the whole time I've been here and it does look quite cool. Apart from we've got this weird strobing effect. I think that's got something to do with the new shadows that they've tried to implement and it doesn't quite work unless I've got my HDR turned on, but HDR doesn't work when I stream. Yeah, the joys of a PS5. Freaking, yeah. It, it, it's great! Ha <laughs> ha! The base! But the strobing's a bit weird. Mind-blowing stuff, my friend. You really have outdone yourself. This is awesome. So if any of you guys out there want to come and visit this awesome base, you can! What the fudge? I was just about to say goodbye and look what's running into the background, people. We got ourselves a Triceratops just crashing into the church. No, beastie, you sir are not welcome inside God's house. Take this, you. Kapow! Go! Yeah, that's it. Straight out the freaking doors. That's where you belong. Out there. Okay, fantastic. Well, that got rid of him. Now I got rid of him. We're done, I think. So I can now sort of end off again. I mean, what a gate crasher. I don't know what's going on with my cameras there. That's a bit, that's a bit weird, isn't it? That's a bit weird. Awesome! We got rid of that Triceratops. Heck yes, we showed him who's boss. Right, oh, oh look, let's get out of here before God sees us. Good plan. Goodbye, all. I want to say a massive, great big thank you to every single one of you watching right now. Thanking you. And I want to say a massive thank you to all of my Patreons that you can see on the screen here. Thank you, uh, Patreon. And a massive, great big shout out and thank you to all of my YouTube memberships. Thanking you, people. And yeah, if you want to join any of those, check out the video description. I also have merch on my channel page. Be sure to check that out. There's something there for everyone. And I also have an eBay store where I sell 3D printed items. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Yeah, if I can make you guys smile, then yeah, that makes me smile. So thank you very much for watching, people. And yeah, if you haven't already, please hit a like. That would be fantabadozy. Heck yes. Or you could hit a subscribe. Chicka pum pum chicka pow pow. Yep, and if you've done both of those, there's always the notification bell, and then you won't miss the next episode. Heck yes! 
And on this screen here, YouTube or Google, the algorithm will try to predict what you might want to see on my channel. Hit one of those tiles, that'll be ace, or hit the join or subscribe. And until next time, people, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Goodbye.